Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about the SVG file type. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic, and it is a wonderfully self-explanatory file type. So vectors are what we'll use in things like Adobe Illustrator and things like uh, 2D plotting machines and vinyl cutters, that kind of fun stuff. Those all use SVGs. And uh, what's really neat about it, about vectors in general, is that it's something that can be used either for your design to be very, very small or very, very, very large. You can take an SVG that was a logo on a business card and use the exact same SVG for a crystal clear, sharp image that's on the side of a building. It would work just the same. Can't do the same thing with raster images as you can with these, these vector images. So the SVG is like the most boiled down version of that vector file type. And it's really nice because it's commonly used in, as I mentioned before, things like plotters and vinyl cutters and other kinds of devices that uh, you want to use vectors on will typically accept SVGs as their preferred file type. Now an SVG does have the vector information, but if you try to keep your entire, say, Illustrator file information in an SVG, you're going to lose some of your data. It won't be able to retain things that are uh, like text. It won't be able to retain text as live editable text. And in fact, if you're going to have text in an SVG, I would recommend creating outlines first before you save it. Um, and it's not going to contain some of the meta information and some of the historical stuff that's really nice, like layers. None of that stuff is going to stick in your SVG. However, one really cool thing about SVGs is that you can actually just put a whole SVG, like all the data from an SVG, you can encode in HTML. So you can do some really neat things with animations uh, when you're using the HTML5 canvas element alongside SVGs. SVGs aren't fully adopted in every single web browser at this point, but they're getting closer and closer to where you can use an SVG image just natively within a browser and it'll turn out really well. I'm hoping we're gonna get there soon. We're not quite there yet, but when we do, we'll be able to have a lot more scalable vector graphics in websites and make it so we can have like one logo file that can be really big or really small. I hope that helps. And if I mentioned any other terms or file types or anything like that in this video, I'll try to link it in the article that's connected to this and in the video description. Thanks.